going on out there on YouTube land? It's your boy Trail checking in with another video. Listen, this video is actually something I wouldn't even think. I was thinking about doing this, something like this, but it was going to be a little different. But somebody got in the comments, one of the subs, one of the people in the family, and he was like, hey, yo, uh, if I was going to start a sneaker collection, what's five shoes that I should start with to build my collection? And I was like, hmm. And I was actually at work. I was like, dang, that's a good idea. I was like, I should just turn that into a video. But I did tell him, I gave him an idea. I gave him a scale of shoes, but I didn't really scale it down to what I really think. And I kind of like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's a little, I'm, I'm going to give five shoes. They're, it's not a top five. It's just a five shoes to start your collection. Five shoes that I feel like this an essential in your collection that you should have to actually get your sneaker rotation rolling. You know what I'm saying? And uh, let me pull up the hat a little bit. You know what I'm saying? So you can see my eyes. Know that I'm serious about this, man. And these shoes ain't in no order. It's just kicks that I believe that you should have in your rotation. Not the actual shoes that I'm showing. Well, I mean, the shoe, but not this shoe. You see what I'm saying? Not, you, you get what I'm saying when I'm showing you shoes. Because I know everybody's not going to be able to get some of these shoes that I'm showing because they either they obtain every shoe you can get, but it's either the price range is super high or it's a brick in some people's eyes or it is what it is. But in my opinion, every shoe I got in my collection, I love and I don't care if it's a brick in your eyes or your eyes or whoever you are that's watching this video. If it's a brick to you, that's cool, but it's not to me and I feel like that's just the way I get down. So we're going to go ahead and get it out the way. And this is one of the shoes I feel like this is an essential in your collection as a sneakerhead. Boom. Let's go. Shell Toe Adidas. Ah, yeah. Superstar, whatever you want to call it. You know what I'm saying? It's all black version. Some people like the all white, the white with the black stripes. But me personally... My pet peeve on shoes, if you've been watching this channel, you know I pass up on a lot of shoes. Like the white cement threes, the reason I don't have those in my collection, whether it be the originals or the reimagined, I hate white sock liners because this is my thing. And you may say, well, just clean your ankles. or and you. It's not even about that. In the summertime, I wear no-show socks. So, yeah, my ankle would be there, but at the same time, if you put lotion on your legs or if you put any type of coconut oil, anything on your legs or whatever, even if you dry your legs and they're just, they're just moist a little bit, the dirt is going to attract to that moisture, which is going to rub on the inside of that shoe. And I don't have time to be trying to or scotch guard it before you wear it and all that type of stuff. So a lot of times I just don't even buy shoes like that. If it's got a white sock liner, I won't really... I really don't rock with it. Or if it's got a light color sock liner. I do have shoes that have the light color sock liner. But for the most part, I really don't cop them. But I feel like this is an essential shoe that you need in your collection. And when I say essential, this is an all-purpose shoe. You can dress this up. You can dress this down. You can, And when I say dress up, you can throw on some nice jeans, a nice shirt, whether it be a polo. I know the young kids, the YNs, that's what we're going to call them, the YNs. They don't like polos. They don't like they don't like polo collar shirts now, and they don't like Levi's. That's what I heard because somebody seen me wearing Levi's, and they was like, "Why are you wearing Levi's?" I'm like, "What I'm supposed to wear? Uh, what is it? Rise, smoke rise, like from uh, Hibbit Sports or whatever?" Or uh, I don't know. I'm not wearing none of those jeans. I mean, I, I I don't. I wear what I like. You know what I'm saying? Like I always say. But anyway, we get back to this shoe. This is an essential shoe because, like I say, you can dress it up, dress it down. And when you can throw on some sweats with this, you can throw on some shorts with this. This is barbecue fresh at its finest. You can wear this however you want it. If you are, you're a sneakerhead and you work in the office, throw this on, man. You can, me personally, I throw a little tie in them. Or I might just slouch it out and not even, you know what I'm saying, not even lace them up. And like I've only wore these once, and like since I bought these, but it, it's just a shoe that I had to have in my collection. And I bought this for a 
90s theme party, but it was actually, I needed them in my collection, man. And this is just one of those shoes, man. So there's one right there for you. Boom. I only took out one shoe of each shoe. We're not going to sit here and go through. It's only five of them, so we not, I'm not going to keep y'all long in this video. The Air Max 90 Infra Red. This is the retro of this shoe that came out. I don't remember. Wasn't too long ago. But I heard they're coming out again, which is crazy. So any Air Max in your collection, 95, Air Max 1, just an Air Max. That's what I'm going with. Any Air Max in your collection is an essential. Where you need a nice runner like this. Any Nike runner in your collection. Now, when I say runner, I'm not talking about shocks or the, what, they got the shocks. They got the, uh, what's the other ones? Uh, Vapor Max. It's the first go around of the Vapor Max, the OG Vapor Max was nice. Those were, had the slimmer look. They Those were nice. I had a pair of those. I had a couple pair of those. But when they started doing with the all Vapor Max bubble on the shoe and it was like that, the Vapor Max Plus, those are, I don't really like those. And I feel like that shoe's ugly and they should have did better. So like I said, this is a shoe, any Air Max runner, you know what I'm saying? In your collection is a go. Like Gucci man said, you know what I'm saying? He like 95, he's a dope runner. You know what I'm saying? That, that type of time, you know what I'm saying? And let's get this one out the way right here. Now nah, we gonna wait on that one because that's, that's almost like a hype shoe. And I feel like this is a hype shoe to me, too, because a lot of people, when they see me wear it, they went kind of crazy on this. Boom. New Balance. Yes, sir. The 1906 R's. This is real popular right now. All these New Balance. These young YNs is loving them. You know what I'm saying? They, hey, this is more. New Balance was like a DC thing. You know what I'm saying? The dash shoe vibe. And most sneakerheads got a couple dad shoes in their collection whether it be a new balance or a yeezy i feel like the yeezy 700s those were like dad shoe vibes that's when they kind of went crazy and i feel like the new balance 574s are dope so just like a new balance you need a nice new balance in your collection to make that rotation look good you know what i'm saying that's another one let's get into this one right here now this is super different I don't really see a lot of people. I got two colors of this shoe. And it's the Saucony Saucony Shadow 6000. Excuse me. With the navy blue Yankee colorway. Man, I should have thrown my Yankee or my Detroit fitted with this shoe just for the video purposes. Super dope shoe. Nice shoe. Nice rotation, man. Shoe is worth every penny, man. Worth every penny. Nice shoe to have. Got to have a nice retro running style shoe in your collection, man. Let's get into this last one. Yes. Boom. Got to have an OG retro one in your collection, man. And this one right here is a... Sh I said the shattered backboard. Ah, lost and found. Now, keep in mind, still smell new. I've only wore this shoe once, man. And I just... I don't know, man. I like the shoe so much, I don't even really... You can see it still got the white stuff on it. Like, man, size tag and everything in there. Yeah. I I don't wear this shoe. I've worn, like I said, I've worn this shoe once. And that was it. I really wore it just to take a picture. And that was it. But I was going to wear it last weekend and I didn't. But you need a retro one in your collection to actually round out your collection. You got to. Because this is a shoe that you can definitely dress up and down. That's what I love about retro ones. You can dress them up. You can dress them down. You can throw on sweats, slacks wedding shoes however you want to do it you can wear this all over the world you, however you want to do it this is how you can wear this shoe and also the low og ones super dope shoe i got some in the collection i got one down there on the floor i only got maybe three in my collection and i'm actually gonna have four because i'm getting us i'm getting those uh royal ones it's coming out the end of this money november 30th but this shoe it's a part of that five that you need in your collection, man. I thank y'all for stopping in, checking out the video, man. I just really wanted to do this video to give some type of game to somebody that's looking to get into the sneaker game, man. They really wants to indulge and enjoy 
the sneaker community, man, because we salute y'all, and we need real sneaker heads out here again, man. With that being said, I'm out, man. And remember, y'all be good, y'all be great, and rock what you like, because I'm going to do the same. I'm out, man. Let's go.